rather exhausted, but thank God there were no casualties. We've been part of a five-day advance to contact mission, followed by the occupation of our defensive position. Then last night's patrol. It started with a warning order from my platoon commander. Quick time check, a look at the map, then I knew it was gonna be a long day and an even longer night. I called my 2IC to issue my own warning order. Warning order. We were to conduct a reconnaissance of the road junction at coordinates 075001. Orders were to be given at 1500 hours in the bivouac, with no move before 2200 hours. 1500 hours at the center of the bivouac. No move before 2200 hours. The drivers stay behind. Question? Nope. My 2IC's job was clear. While I was away, he was to pass my warning order onto the section. It would include the assignment of positions and tasks as per section SOPs. Every last one of them knew that the success of the mission and their lives depended on how well they understood what they had to do on proper preparation and on concomitant activity since every minute counted. Things at the bivouac under control, I headed for the company command post. Good day, sir. The company commander was waiting to give me my orders. The mission I already had. But his orders emphasized the need for information on enemy activity in a specific sector that ran from the first junction to the edge of the forest, and from there, beyond the sand pit, to the next junction south of that point. Up to the gravel pit, and then down the second junction south of the main one. It will be 11.45 in 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 11.45. Have you got any question? No, sir. Go. OK, take your map. As soon as I got back, I went over the information with my 2IC and uh, put him to work on a mock-up. The river and go back to the bridge. Any question? No. Nope. That still left me with a lot to work out. I had to come up with a detailed time estimate. I went over it all, the situation, the mission, the execution, the service support, right down to the commands and signals. I also drew up a reconnaissance plan. We had to check out as much of the terrain as we could beforehand. If we were gonna pull this thing off, we needed as much information as we could come up with. I couldn't send my section out blind. Preparations in the camp were going according to schedule. My 2IC was busy with the mock-up. As for me, I was still working on the estimate for my plan. I had to make sure I'd considered every possibility. Aim, factors, 
courses open before letting the section in on it. This mission wasn't routine. No mission ever is. And any mission is a group effort. If we were going to succeed, everyone had to know where he was going, what he had to do, and what everyone else had to do. They needed answers to questions, like the code word for changing frequencies. The rendezvous point if they became separated. 1545 hours, the rehearsal. It was our chance to check out the plan and make sure everyone knew and understood the drills and signals. we had to be in top form. That meant well-fed and well-rested. So I ordered some sack time. Time to go. to go undetected, we had to make sure we couldn't be seen or heard. That meant nothing loose, nothing jangling. Everything checked out. A few last-minute instructions, and we were off.